One of the horses we took in yesterday is systemically stable, but has a very, very painful eye. So we're squeezing in an enucleation for him early this morning. Good boy. Um, you can see he's got pretty severe bucopurulent nasal discharge. So Dr. Gina is gonna be performing a thoracic ultrasound to look at his heart and lungs while I remove his left eye today. And we're gonna do it standing. We've had really good success with standing enucleations before. He's gonna be sedated. Hi. Um, he's gonna be sedated and then also have the whole eye area blocked so he won't be able to feel. Um, this poor gelding had his eye rupture, it looks like. So when the cornea ruptures completely, the whole contents of the anterior chamber and sometimes the posterior chamber come through the eye. It's extremely painful. Um, and now he has entropion where his lids are folding in and rubbing on what's left of that eye. So um, we couldn't wait on the surgery even until next week. He's really painful with that eye and we're gonna get it taken care of. Um, he had a broad, broad spectrum antibiotic injection yesterday. So he already has antimicrobials on board and his blood work shows that he's well hydrated and a good anesthetic candidate this morning. This is betadine, um, not blood, looks like blood. So normally you, we use chlorhexidine as our pre-surgical scrub, but even though we're removing this eye, chlorhexidine is a lot more irritating to the mucosal tissues of the eye. So we're using betadine just in case we get a little bit in that eye, we wanna cause as little irritation as possible. I'm doing a combination of 50-50 lidocaine and bupivacaine. Both of them are topical numbing agents. Lidocaine starts working very, very quickly. Lidocaine only lasts for 30 minutes. Bupivacaine takes about 30 minutes to start working, but then it lasts for five or six hours. So when we combine those two, we get rapid numbing and a long time of numbing. So I'm doing a, just a basic ring block around these lids. That's the first step of our surgery, is gonna be to suture these two lid margins closed, and then I'm gonna use that as the little purse string for the tiny bag that contains the eyeball. My normal landmarks for this surgery are palpating around the globe of the eye, and he kind of almost doesn't have one. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to attempt to use our new ultrasound to look at his lungs and heart primarily, but I might scan and look at his other organs if I have time, if she's not needing him out of here by then. About to do the retro bulbar block where we're putting a numbing agent behind the eye. We're gonna block the optic nerve which is gonna block motor and sensory um, nerve signals to and from that eye so that he won't feel, he already can't feel his lids, but we wanna make sure he doesn't feel back behind that eye. Wow, look how far in his lid is rolled. It's way, way in there. There's the eye. Went great. I'm just gonna get some clean um, tools ready and a new pair of sterile gloves and we'll get it closed. But um, it went perfectly and I think he's gonna do great in recovery. So this is absorbable suture material. It's aught size. It's gonna dissolve in about six months. The suture costs like $11 a pack, which doesn't seem like a lot. Um, but like this is the first pack I've used for the surgery, but I'm definitely gonna need another one and it adds up, especially with small animals. I try to use all the, all the suture material that I can. So we're not being wasteful. He's got some pretty bad 
um, mucopurulent discharge and some lung sounds. So Dr. Gina did an ultrasound of his lungs. She didn't find anything majorly abnormal. Our new ultrasound is amazing. Um, it can evaluate kind of the surface of the lungs. And then I surgically removed his eye. It was very routine and closing now. And he's gonna be in a stall in our vet hospital so we can keep a really close eye on him. And we will take it from there. Unlike most of our buyout horses, he's not a skeleton, which is lovely, but made the ultrasound a bit more complicated. But he's a very good boy. We're all finished with his surgery. I'm gonna clean the blood off his face. And we'll get him fly sprayed. We're gonna give him some IV pain meds. And then we'll take him back to our recovery stall. This is just our same kind of zinc oxide base wound cream. Um, mostly I'm putting this on here because I'm not gonna wrap his face. And I wanna make sure we have a really nice, clean agent that will keep it moist. Um, he is going to be in our vet hospital, which is a building, but obviously we do have flies come into our building. So um, we wanna make sure that he doesn't have flies bothering that surgery site. Okay, all done.